What's up? So all my brushes just fell all over the ground. Let's try that again. What's up you guys? It's your girl Rayanne Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, definitely hit that red subscribe button down below to join the fam and hit that post notification bell so you know when I post new videos. But in today's video, you guys, I'm going to be doing a beginner, yes, a beginner friendly look. Um, it's going to be a bronze, goldy, brown um, cut crease. So if you're interested in that, then definitely keep on watching. I'm honestly not going to do a lot of long talking today. I just want to get right into this video. So without further ado, let's get it started. I'm going to be using mainly the It's My Ray Ray palette. And that's what that looks like. And the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. These are the two palettes I'm going to be using. Both of these palettes are honestly very, very, very um, beginner friendly. This is what the It's My Ray Ray palette looks like. I really like this palette just because it takes the guessing out of like which colors you want to use, especially if you're a beginner. So yeah, definitely pick this up and it's really inexpensive as well. And then um, the Juvia's Place Nubian palette is also very beginner friendly and that's what it looks like one of my colors is missing because it fell out but yeah this is what it looks like it's also very beginner friendly and very neutral so yeah these are two palettes that you can go to so first i'm going to add a transition color and that's just going to add as a base so that all of the colors blend really really nicely together i'm just going to use my morphe 456 brush that's what it looks like i'm taking the color brick which is this color right here and I'm just gonna buff that onto my lid. I'm taking my brush and I'm not holding it very close because that's when you're gonna get um, just a really dense color payoff. So I'm just gonna hold my brush over here and just use circular motions. So that's what it's looking like. So that's what the color is looking like, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So again, I'm starting really light, and then I'm gonna build up to the what this color looks like. You don't want to pack on the color too much at first because then you can't really take it off. You can but you have to blend and blend and blend. So definitely start light and then you can build it up. The other thing you want to do as well is make sure that you're getting the color inside of this, um, this little crease here. The look doesn't look complete when there's like missing shadows. So yeah, definitely just make sure you're getting all of the areas that you need to okay so now that that's nice nice and blended out taking my morphe 433 brush and that's what it looks like it is dirty so just ignore that but i'm gonna go ahead and use this color called bark and i'm just gonna use that to blend out that blend out the two colors So I do want more of a diffused look, so I'm focusing most of the shadow on the outer corner of my eye. So I'm mostly patting it on here, and then I'm bringing it over. Like so. So that's what that is looking like. So you definitely want some dimension when you're doing a cut crease. So as much as I did go ahead and add a darker color, next I'm just going to go ahead and deepen my crease with a darker brown. I'm going to be using this color right here, and I'm using a smaller, more dense brush. So 
So sometimes when you're doing a cut crease, it just really looks ridiculous, but you really just have to trust the process and sometimes just keep on going even though it looks really crazy. Don't be afraid to keep going back and forth with each of the colors just to make sure that it's blended nicely. So I'm going back in with this color right here. Next, I'm just taking a clean blending brush and I'm just going over that. So I'm just taking my favorite concealer and this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on, my on the back of my hand and then we're gonna cut the crease. So my all-time favorite brush to use to cut my crease is my Morphe 224 brush and that's what it looks like. So this is the line that I'm going to stop at because I do have like partially hooded eyes. So you guys will see what I'm saying. So I'm literally patting and dragging, patting and dragging. So one thing you want to do is always make sure that the ends of the cut crease is nice and diffused. So I'm just going to take my finger and just pat it on the outside edges. I am going back in with this brown color. And I'm just going to pop that on the outer corner and blend it up a little bit. Now that we have the brown back in place, I'm gonna go in with this color. Next, I'm just going to go in with this color right here, just to diffuse the two colors. So I'm going to use these two colors and I'm just going to use it on my bottom lash line. And lastly, I'm going to take the brown and I'm just going to use it at the bottom. So I'm going to take this small brush and I'm going to take the brown. And this is optional, but this will just help to clean up the look. Okay, so I've done my liner off camera and now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever um, Smoky Extravagant Mascara. So just for some added pizzazz, you can add an inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to use a small brush. And I'm going to go in with this gold color and I'm just going to uh, pop that in to the corners of my eyes. Like so. And just a little bit to my brow bone. So that's what everything is looking like.
So this is the final look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Toodles! Thank you.